I love a good home warming. Wrapping presents, decking the tree with dishes, and going out singing carols. Well, I'm just peachy about helping you put up your tree, too, Poppy. What's a home warming's eve without a home warming ham in the tree, after all? And I do so appreciate your help, Eddie. It sounds like your schedule must be filled to the brim with all sorts of work. When are you going to give yourself some time to enjoy the holidays? Even I don't knit every day. My wings hurt just thinking about it. Oh, don't you fret your feathers over me. I'm fine. I'm looking forward to delivering the gifts my friends have all gotten for each other. There we go. Prettier than a magnolia in May. <laughs> well, no one has asked me to deliver nothing yet, but I know they'll be calling me up real soon. Till then, I reckon I'll just focus on wrapping my own presents. You know, I, I ain't never had so little to do on a holiday before. No matter, I could fill in the time just fine. Let's see. Um, uh, oh, let's wrap Sally's presents first. Or actually, maybe Julie's. She's gonna love this chimney cozy I got her. I mean, I hope she does. <laughs> well, come to think of it, Julie hasn't called me either. She always calls to play some sort of game. But what if his presents are relevant? What if her house doesn't get cold? But no, no, need to indulge in the whimsy, Eddie. <laughs> Let's focus on someone else instead. What about, um, Wally? I, I know his interests don't change much at all. You get that fella an apple every day and he'll be happy as a clam. Yep. Okay, here we go. Done and done. <laughs> I sure can't wrap these fast. I'm going to be done before I know it. I ought to slow down on the wrapping there, and if I go too fast, I'll be back to nothing to do. <laughs> Okay, who's next? Uh, maybe Frank has some kind of butt catching that night. No, not during the snow time, probably. I've been in the post office all day, and no one has given me nothing to deliver. But maybe I missed something. That maybe a, a memo, a note, like anything. Maybe this is... Oh, wait, no, that's just the shopping list. Okay, well, no notes here. Oh! <laughs> oh! I bet everyone's outside playing in the snow. <laughs> I can't see anyone out there. Maybe they're in the woods. Oh, shucks. I can't just leave the post office. Why, well, I bet the moment I leave is the moment someone should walk in needing something or other. Mercy, why ain't no one told me anything? Not a call, a visit, a peep, or nothing. How am I supposed to do my job when no one gives me something to do? Who ever heard of folks getting recognition for nothing? No one. That's who. At least I don't think so, anyway. Maybe I ought to just go out for a walk. Not mailman, it is I, your beloved star of the home warming tree, come to the <laughs> to bestow peace onto your worrisome mind. Ow! Now, the reason we didn't ask you to deliver any presents is quite simple. We have already done it. Really? What are you doing up there? Everyone insists you work so hard. All of us wanted to give you a break so you could finally enjoy it for yourself. So stuff an envelope in it and escort me to oh, Wally's oh, homewarming well, party. Maybe Come I along, do need hurry, a break. hurry. Oh, okay, okay, I'm coming. And so Sally Starlet and Eddie Deer make their way to home together with the rest of their friends. When they entered the doorway, the neighbors cheered. Finally, everyone was here. After hanging up his coat and hat, Eddie plopped himself down on one of Holmes' open seats. <sighs> Maybe this is what I needed. A love seat and my single pee on a plate. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm finer than a frog's hair split 
four ways. And so, the resident, reliable mailman finally got to take a day off for himself. Everything was delivered. His friends were all here, and most important of all, Eddie Deer was happy. Eddie Deer was happy. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Deer. I heard from Sally that you've been worried about deliveries all morning. All morning? More like all day! I could see it all from my spot up on the tree. It's not easy being the most important decor for homewarming. But I do what I must for this little neighborhood. I still don't know who helped you get up there. Well, if you've been in your post office all day, it couldn't have been you, could it, Mr. Deer? Mr. Deer? Mr. Deer, are you listening? Mr. Deer? Mr. Deer? <laughs> Where? Hey! Happy home warming to one and all! 